Well, today is the day we honor our veterans. It's uh, Memorial Day, May 27th. And I thought I would show some of the stuff my dad brought back from uh, the war, World War II. I shut this dog up long enough. So here we go. Hold on. Oh, dog, stop. picture of my dad right there. Uh, that's when he was a sergeant, tech sergeant, I think. And let's see what we got. He was in Europe. And uh, there's a Nazi flag. First thing. And what he was, he was uh, well, he was in the combat engineers and basically in demolitions. Um, they would uh, blow bridges before the Germans got across. And uh, saved a lot of lives that way. And uh, this is from the combat engineers. A little story. They had a little book of uh, what they did and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and that's my dad's ID card. And let's see what else do I have here. Uh, I don't remember. Oh. And this was in the 6th of May, 1944. Apparently it was a list for a uh, general order for uh, upon recommendation of the of their company commanders and in accord with the provisions of AR 600-68 dated 4th of May 1943 the following named uh, EM are hereby awarded the Good Conduct Medal. So that's what this was for. This is the Good Conduct Medal and my dad was right there with my finger up. Uh, I gotta find my finger. Beep. There it is. It's right there. De Silva, Anthony J. And uh, he was a tech four, so basically, you know, he was a tech sergeant, basically, what it was. And uh, we got all kinds of stuff in here, though. Uh, this other book actually was when they were on leave in uh, Switzerland. So they had this book made up for all these GIs, I guess, at that time. So to all the places they visited, like Lucerne and that sort of stuff. So got all those. And it just pulled in there at Zurich, right there. So yeah, so we have quite a few pictures in there. So basically it's everywhere they went. Whatever that is. <laughs> Bad ragas, whatever that is. I don't know where that is. But anyhow, he was in Europe the whole time. Uh, he didn't come back until the end of the war in 19... Actually, 1940. Six actually is when he actually got back, um, and these were postcards. There's one from Nuremberg, and and there was this one here. So yeah, a lot of stuff there, and then I had he's got all kinds of postcard pictures. These are all postcards. I guess all the stuff he picked up there. Arts of Triumph. It's right there. 
There's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, <laughs> of all things, you can't go anywhere without your money belt, of course. That's what that is. And my dad wrote this on whatever this is. I don't even know what this is, actually. It's tied up. It says Sergeant Anthony De Silva, so that's when he made it a sergeant. He started out as a private in 1943. Oh, I see. What this is? Ah, I didn't even remember this myself. Sewing kit. It's a sewing kit, and <laughs> it's got the patches and stuff in it. He even got his dog tags in it, actually. And there's actually other stuff, buttons, and there's all kinds of stuff in here. Single stripes. There's a private. But, yeah. Um, quite, a, quite a few little artifacts we have here. And what was this? Uh, oh, yes. A box of more stuff. Look at this. Ribbons. And this is actually, this is the patch for the uh, combat engineers that he was in. Uh, Company B, I think it was. Also. And this is, yeah, this is just a cigarette case. And this is another ribbon. And of course, we got all kinds of more stuff here. I mean, I could go through this stuff forever. I mean, I have <laughs> so many artifacts here from there. Uh, and this is his cap with his combat engineer's pin on it, right there. And oh, just paperwork. What is this? Oh yeah, this is when he had he had to he had to get this. They had to certify that he had all his items and stuff when he got shipped back out. So, yep, February. This is when he got shipped back, February twenty fifth, nineteen forty six. Went in forty three and got out and yeah, came back in forty six. Got to the U S. You know, Dad made it through the war without a single scratch, actually. Oh, this is affiliate. Oh, this is this is when he was trying to get into uh, the Army uh, Air Corps. <clears throat> he tried that, and he has even a letter here that somewhere where he. Oh yeah, here it is. Yep, first Army Air Force Flying Training Detachment in Santa Maria, California. That was back in 1943, just before he. Uh, Went overseas, and I guess he tried to get in. According to this, his eyes were visually acuity is now 2030, correctable 2020 in each eye. Huh. He said, if integrated or if interested in uh, mechanics, ground crew suggested aviation cadet examining board technical training center be contacted at this attachment. This does not process that type of application. <laughs> so he tried to get into flying, and they wanted him to go as a mechanic, and he said no. no I said forget it. He said I was going to go fly and try to get in the Air Force, and no, it wasn't going to happen. So here's more stuff we got. And what is it? Money. This is from the the Bank of England. Yeah. See, this is you know, this is a, a French ten franc note. Mm-hmm. Yep. There it is. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff from Dad in the war. You even have this artifact. That's right. Had to shave somehow, right? So there was his razor. A razor. 
this pipe. And let's see what else is here. Uh, yeah, I, ID tag. So, just some of the stuff Dad brought back, and uh, some of the stuff he used uh, during the Second World War. Uh, this is an interesting patch here. This one here, also for the combat engineers. But anyhow, so I just wanted to show you some of these things on on this day, Memorial Day. I figured it was appropriate for today. So, anyway, that's going to be it for now. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.